how to use the law of attraction to get anything you want. Tip number one and a thing that you have to think about and take into consideration is you are constantly manifesting 24 7. Every thought that you think will project into your future. It could be later today, it could be tomorrow, it could be next week, next month, next year, three years from now. Be mindful of what you're thinking and yes it is a huge 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 process to control your thoughts and try to think as positive as possible all the time. But the reality of it is the reality that you're living is the outcome of thoughts that you thought in the past. But today is a new opportunity to change your whole life around. So if you're new, trust me, watch this video to the end because this is coming from someone who has manifested all kinds of things. Tip number one, just to do a recap, you are constantly manifesting 24 seven. So get a hold of your thoughts and your emotions. Work on having more and more positive thoughts because those positive thoughts will attract positive things. Tip number two is detachment is necessary to manifest. Have you noticed, and let me know in the comments, have you noticed that the things that you don't really care about come to you really quick? And the things that you've probably only thought about maybe for a split second and then it happens and it comes into your reality, that is because you don't have any attachment to those little big things or those simple thoughts that are just passing by. Now the big things that are that you really want, you are constantly thinking about it. And when you constantly think about certain things, different doubts and fears and bad energy can creep up in your desire. When I say this, whatever it is that you want to manifest, it simply means you have to become okay with you having it or not. Basically, you have to become so in love with yourself so in love with your life that you have to become satisfied with what you already have in the first place. So when you're detaching, you're basically saying to yourself, you know what, my life is pretty good. And even if your life isn't that great, you have to find the things, the small things that make your life a little bit easier. It could be small things like air conditioning or running water or like stuff that minimal. And what is going to happen from there is that more and more positive things that you do love is going to come into your reality. The universe is going to give you things that you love. So you have to find the things in life that you do love. Detaching. Tell yourself and you have to convince your subconscious mind, your belief system that, oh, I'm good regardless, but I'm expecting that and I'm excited for that and I can't wait for that to come, but I'm good though. Tip number three and when I tell you this is probably one of the most like important tips that I can give you, never focus on the lack of not having it. Never focus on the idea of not having what you want. For example, say you, you're in a relationship, right? You and your significant other broke up for whatever reason. There's a million reasons why y'all could have broke up. And you want to fix things, right? You are in a breakup. What do you constantly think about? You constantly think about the actual breakup, you guys not being together. Um, you focus on them not being there, not being around, them not picking up the phone. The universe gives you what you think about. So instead of you focusing on the idea of your ex-significant lover not being there, you need to focus on the things that you did love. Focus on, if you love talking on the phone with them, your thoughts should be something about, I love when they call me. I love when they text me. I love when they send those long paragraphs to me. I love when they pop up at my job giving me flowers. I love when I talk to them for hours on the phone. I love being up under them and I love cuddling with them. And those should be your thoughts. Your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not. So you might as well convince it because your subconscious mind is what is controlling everything. If you're telling yourself, hey, oh, they'll be back. We're just having a little break. They're gonna contact me soon. You have to indulge your thoughts with the things that you do like about them, how they make you feel when you guys are good, etc. So, and uh, it could go with money. Instead of you focusing on the fact that you do not have money, focus on what you would do with the money when you do have it. 
when I increase my income. I use the law of attraction all the time, all day, every day. I could wake up and say, I wanna make $700 today. I wanna make $1,000 today. And instead of focusing on maybe my sales are slow or something like that, I'm focusing on getting to that amount. What I would do with it, how it makes me feel, how I, I feel when I uh, receive new notifications for the money coming in, etc. So it's all about focusing on the positive aspect of it instead of it not being there. Next, now we're gonna get into the, the nitty gritty and the good stuff and how in the world to use the law of attraction to get anything you want. You can apply this to anything because your wish is literally the universe's command. If you know you can have it and you know it's, it is obtainable, then it's coming to you at the right time. Step one, how to use the law of attraction. The first step I'm going to tell you, as a human being, it is natural to get caught up in all the thoughts in your head. And if you are one of my little subscribers, you already know the routine because you've watched my videos. But this, this step is to remind you and also to inform new people who have never seen my videos before. You must calm your mind. Thousands of thoughts running through your mind per second regardless if you realize it or not. So the first step is you have to calm your mind. And when you calm your mind, you're probably like, how in the world do I do that? I have so much on my mind and so much going on around me. I'm thinking about this situation, that situation, uh, that person over there, this over there. Imagine your mind being a draw erase board, like in a classroom. It could be one of those, whatever board that you had growing up. And you know when your teacher was really going off and they really write in and they're teaching and stuff like that. When the board is full, the universe doesn't know what to focus on for you because there's so much stuff up there. Follow me. You need to erase majority of those thoughts and focus on the one thing that you really want. The most important thing, because you can manifest up things simultaneously uh, when we're erasing our board we're calming our mind and how do we do that we focus on our breathing and we take deep breaths in and it's sail and then this has to be in a comfortable setting quiet setting it could be in your room at night uh, I personally do my meditating at night this is basically what it is you're meditating you're breathing in and you're breathing out do that one time for me I guarantee if you take one real deep breath in and out, you're going to start feeling relief. Do that a total of 21 times. If you have to count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you can do that. Um, one thing I've done before is focus on the air coming into my belly and releasing. But at the midpoint, I want you to start incorporating your affirmations and one of my favorite affirmations sequence type thing to do and think is from a book called Radically Happy. The affirmations are, I'm happy with who I am and I'm happy with what I have. So as I'm breathing in midpoint, I'm starting to feel better. I'm breathing in, I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with what I have. As you're breathing in, say your affirmation. As you're breathing out, say your affirmation. At the end of this calming your mind exercise, you should start to feel better. You should start to feel more happy, more grateful. You know what I'm saying? Your mind is clear for the most part. After clearing your mind and raising your vibration, but it's time to either script or say out loud and or both what it is that you want. What do you want and what is your intention behind having what you want? Now, uh, for example, this is about to be raw. For me, when I make money, I like to put money in my savings. And once the money is in my savings, I make it a priority not to touch it. It's like I don't have that money anymore. So if I really want something that is a little pricey or whatever, I have to manifest that I have to manifest new money for it to come for me to go buy it. So I'm like, okay, I need to make at least 200 new dollars. So I'm saying what the, I want the money for. It's beyond just trying to manifest 200 more dollars. So now I'm going through the process. I've said what I wanted the money for and now I'm visualizing, always visualize the outcome of what you want. And as I'm thinking about it, I'm getting happy because it's something I've always wanted. Visualizing is very important and that is the third step in this visualizing after you say your intention 
of what you want and why you want it, visualize you already having it. And the universe is going to put plays together regardless of if you realize it or not. The universe is gonna put plays together to get what you want. With my um, guided scripting packets, I have you script out, I'll give you different scenarios based on whatever you're trying to manifest. You know, I'm asking how do you feel, blah, blah, what does it look like, details, details. I'm trying to get you to think as thorough as possible. And then I tell you, now visualize what you just wrote down. Because visualizing is making it as real as possible in your mind, your belief system, and the universe. So now it's time for the universe to bring it back to you and make it project into your reality. The law of attraction is so fun. It is so fun, um, but you have to learn how to use it. And that's why you're watching this video. People ask, okay, how many times am I supposed to do this? Um, at what point do I detach? Do this, clearing your mind, raising your vibration, saying your intention, visualizing, detaching, five days in a row. And I recommend you do it right before bed because when you do things before bed, you pretty much end up dreaming what you were thinking about prior to going to sleep. And it's kind of like those deja vu moments. And like, I would think of like, wait a minute, I've seen this before. This happened in my dream and now I'm looking at it happen in front of me, in my life, like today, like right now. Quickly go into thinking about something else. You can go watch some YouTube videos, whatever it is you like to do. Don't keep dwelling on it. Do things that make you happy, play some music, go get in the shower. Use this routine and really work on becoming grateful for what you already have. Focusing on things that make you happy. Um, focusing on things, the positive aspects of whatever it is that you want. Focus on the, the times where it was present in your life. You know what I'm saying? And watch what happens. I'm focusing, I'm being more positive and my life is changed for the better. That's all I want for you. I want your life to change for the better, but I want to let you know, law of attraction is very real. So you have to be mindful of what you think. 